Amasquatchi Waskahican, otherwise known as Edmonton, is a city deeply rooted in arts and culture. Home to diverse, passionate emerging voices in music who deserve to be heard and appreciated. I'm Visia, and this is Dirt City Songbook. Hi, I'm Holly Sangster. I'm an artist based in Edmonton. Well, Holly Sangster, thanks for sitting down with me. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to, um, yeah, to hear your gorgeous songs. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, your, okay, well, I want to hear about your story and like your musical story. What were you like as a kid? <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, I started off with like piano lessons when I was in about elementary school. I'd always play, um, first person who actually introduced me to music was my grandpa. And like he would sit me, like sit me on the piano bench beside him and I just do whatever and he'd be like, good job, even though I was like, probably not great. <laughs> but um, when he passed away, I actually, that's when I started taking piano lessons. And then, yeah, I did that. And then junior high, you know, school band, playing good old bass clarinet. And I started playing saxophone in high school. Um, and cello along the way as well. Whoa. And choir, yeah, which was super Everything. fun. Everything. <laughs> I wish, I wish. But um, yeah, and then I got to McEwen and I really, I majored in saxophone. Um, yeah, and then I, I started taking voice lessons along the way as well, which has been super valuable for me. And especially do like, I found doing saxophone and voice like hand in hand kind of together has really helped me out, so. Like, are there things that kind of cross over with those two instruments? Yeah, definitely. I think they just help each other out. I, I feel like um, whenever you learn a new instrument, it just kind of reinforces other um, aspects of the others. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, you know, um, like the voice is not a fixed pitched instrument, you know, it's very um, intuitive. And having the saxophone as a fixed pitch instrument has really helped. And yeah, and also it just makes me think of both of those instruments differently. You know, it helps me be more lyrical on my saxophone playing. And, and then it helps me be, um, I guess, uh, busier in the vocal sense and more <laughs> thinking about notes rather than yeah, and like and, vocal runs and things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like voice is such a, I don't know, it's, it's very like fluid and like malleable, mm -hmm. I think. And like, yeah. so do you find like, um, in terms of like how you feel about like, I don't know, I guess for lack of a better term, like your true voice, is that something that you are like still kind of like honing or you kind of feel really comfy there? Mm. or? I think it's still something that I'm working on and, and trying to figure out because um, I've I've done you know I've seen lots of different situations and and I I feel like I'm still I mean I'm working on my technique and stuff but I'm yeah I'm still trying to figure out um, my sound I suppose because especially listening to tons of different vocalists like yeah it's so easy to just want to sound like everybody right <laughs> so many people are so good yeah. Um, but they're all very different. So hmm. yeah, I'm still working on trying to combine those influences into one. Yeah, that's something I've always like, I wouldn't say struggled with, but I've become more conscious of is like, yeah, when mm -hmm. you really love these other singers, you're yeah. kind of like, oh, I want to be like that. Mm -hmm. well, then you kind of have to stop and be like, oh wait, no. But I'm not. I'm not, not. and I will never be like that. Yeah. So <laughs> it's just like, yeah. yeah, it's like, it's such a personal instrument that way, mm -hmm. I think. Totally. Yeah. It's a lot more vulnerable as yeah. well. Like it's so, oh my goodness, it's so easy like with the saxophone or with any other type oh, of yeah. instrument. Oh yeah, saxophone, easy, you right, know, yeah. You can <laughs> in your face, like you can do whatever you want, you know, um, stage presence, psh, whatever, I'm just, uh, but, but you know, uh, when you're singing, it's like, oh, I actually have to use my face and, yeah. and um, figure out like, what do I do with my hands? And like, yeah. you know, that's been a big challenge for me. Um, and uh, yeah, because it's so much easier to ignore those types of things with other instruments. Mm. But um, it's also um, 
I've gained a lot of respect too for vocalists, especially like, you know, really good ones. I'm just like, yeah, it looks so easy. Yeah. And it's so personal, you know? Mm -hmm. And like, even when it comes to like, because your voice is like part of your body and you're like mm -hmm. your biology, your physiology, it's like, I mean, yeah, you're going to have like, certain limitations just because what you're born with yeah. but then there's also just like the care of it too or like I don't know yeah there's all these singers that I Easy. am so like amazed by and I'm like wow their vocal like health is so next level too yeah <laughs> yeah totally like I I've I've learned so many things from from my voice teacher Jen Nickel and and friends too just like yeah just voice care things because there's yeah. so many there's so many funny things like there's one was it like uh Blowing bubbles like like yeah, into water. Straw, straw. Yeah. I'm just like Whoa. I yeah, I just started like picking that up too in the yeah. last like year. Yeah. And it's kind of, it feels incredible though. Oh yeah? Yeah, it feels I, so I, strange. I still haven't gotten like super into it, but it, yeah. it's uh, on the list. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I'm not I'm not claiming to be like have, have an amazing vocal practice either. <laughs> <laughs> but I've tried it a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah. yeah. Your voice is the echo of mine I'm waiting on your line I'm hoping you find
um, your songwriting is um, is just very like, well, it's it's beautiful. It's yeah, and your and your melodies and everything that you write. Um, what are your, I guess, influences when it comes to writing your own songs? Mm. Well, I feel like for the most part, um, like I first of all, I love listening to like singer songwriters and. Um, I listen to a lot of instrumental music as well, but um, a big influence for me, especially this past year, has been this artist uh, named Ichiko Aoba, and she sings in Japanese, which I don't speak Japanese, but um, her lyrics and the way she, the way it's, I've just found it interesting, like, even though I can't understand the words she's saying, I I can I can still understand her, mm. and so I've been really trying to um, write in that way. Um, I find lyrics challenging. That's definitely been something tricky yeah. for me. But I've they yeah they're so tricky. But I've been kind of um, trying to just more so go with the flow and go for a, like a feeling or an image rather than um, you know being able to like read the lyrics and, and be, like have it super specific you know yeah, what I mean? or like very literal like yeah, yeah very literal yeah that's it um yeah so i've been trying to more focus on the um whole image like like how she writes like um even if someone couldn't understand the lyrics they could understand the feeling behind yeah. it yeah 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 because with lyrics it's like you could listen to a song in a different language and as long as you are feeling that emotion. Yeah. It's like, okay, well maybe then like lyrics are important. I mm -hmm. still love them dearly. Yeah. But it's like, there's this whole other thing around mm -hmm. songs. I think that, yeah. that is the, is kind of the magic about it or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you write songs. Do you also write other music as well? Yeah, um, I actually just started um, songwriting and composing in the past, I mean, like, vaguely in the past, like, four to five years, but really working on it in the past one to two years. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, really committing to it. Um, I, I've i been really drawn to singer-songwriter stuff because that's a lot of what I listen to, but I've also um, been working on stuff to compose more in, like, like contemporary styles or jazz styles with my saxophone um it's interesting though i've had to use like very different strategies for different genres and it, and it's kind of uh interesting because i have to kind of change my mindset every time i write depending on what i want to do okay which is interesting and something i've tr been trying to figure out yeah <laughs> yeah um could you say more about that a little bit yeah i mean i think listening i listen to lots of different music and i have a lot of different influences, which I think is a good thing. But I think mostly what I've been trying to work on is kind of honing in on what I really want to work on um, because my brain can feel very sporadic and yeah. moving in lots of different directions. Like, I want to do this, I want to do this. Yeah. Um, but I've been trying to wor work out a way to combine those things into one sound. Um, yeah, yeah, it's like finding how you want to say what you want to say yeah like yeah exactly <clears throat> yeah and and i've been working on also combining like voice and horn um oh. yeah because i have lots of um like i yeah i know lots of artists who do that and, and it's just cool because you you know you can communicate in two different ways which i think is really awesome yeah, it is. Yeah, it's like speaking multiple languages. Yeah, <laughs> like really. Yeah, exactly. yeah it's super impressive. Like, <laughs> 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 really. Um, what are the things that kind of draw you into wanting to create a piece, or like, are you kind of collecting ideas all the time? Yeah, yeah. I find um, I I'll get ideas just in my head, melody ideas. It's usually either just a melody or or a line or it's a melody with lyrics i find it's very rare that i come up with lyrics just on their own okay um uh, the the notes like the audio files on my phone mm -hmm. is extensive and terrifying <laughs> i know sometimes yeah like if i'm bored i'll just be like yeah let's scroll to the bottom and see where this goes and it's just like what yeah what is this? 
Yeah. Um, because I, I try to record every little thing because we're also just, it just, it slips disappears. Past. Yeah. It disappears. And I'm so grateful I do because sometimes I'll go back and be like, oh yeah, I remember this thing. This is kind of cool. Let's try to do something with it. So yeah. yeah I love the cell phone for that reason. Yeah, it's just so like, handy. Cause yeah, you'll, I don't know if you've ever like had an idea and it's like, maybe, I don't know. There's been times where I'm like kind of going to bed or something. I'm like, I'll just like, I'll just, you know, in the morning or something. And then mm -hmm. you wake up and you're like, oh no, I, I will never get that back. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I, that's a rule for me. I, um, like I've been in elevators. I've been like walking to places and I'm just like, this is my brain now. If I don't write it down now or yeah. like do something with it, it's just going to leave me. So yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. Then yeah. Like, and then I'll look back on those files and be like, where was I? Yeah. When this was recorded. Like, what is going on? It's just like hundreds of lifetimes in voice memos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. With your writing and like, like, obviously, like, we're expressing ourselves through our creativity and like what we're writing. Um, what inspires you, I guess? Like, what are the things that um, draw you in enough where you're like, oh, I want to express this? Yeah, I think. Um, Really, it really depends. It's usually feeling based, and I and I associate those feelings with certain images. Um, yeah, I, I I try to relate it to some some kind of a story, whether it's like my experience or something fictional. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I I guess that's that's mostly my process. Like, I'll. Um, because usually the songwriting process starts with like I'll have a single idea, and then and then I try to kind of go off of that. So, um, however that makes me feel, or even how I'm feeling in the moment. Like there have been times in my life where like something happened and it's really inspiring. Um, and so yeah, usually feeling slash story based. Yeah. Try to anyways. <laughs> yeah, like are you um, are you kind of like. Because uh, I've spoken with some songwriters where it has to be very much like steeped in their own reality, mm. I guess. Yeah. Um, but the way you're speaking about it as well, like with fiction, mm. do you find you're able to like kind of create I narratives? Think, yeah, I think so. I think the initial idea starts from my reality. Yeah. And then when I try to expand on that, sometimes I have to reach in different places. Um, um, yeah, my uh, my mom actually is a storyteller, and oh. she, uh, yeah, she's an amazing writer. And so I've I've been I've tried to uh, emulate that in a sense because you know she takes, um, you know, she doesn't write like novel length stories, but she writes shorter stories. But they make you feel so much in such a short amount of time. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, that's yeah. what I'm going for, you know? Yeah. Like, to feel like you've read a novel. Um, only after listening to like three minutes of sound. A song, yeah, totally. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, that just sounds like when you hear a song that you're like, that's the perfect song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it's an amazing feeling. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> it you 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 feel like you've been through so much, but it's yeah. yeah and even it's if so it's short. not what you're going through at the time, mm -hmm. you're like, well, I basically went through it. <laughs> yeah, and and I think that's I think that's the best art where it's like even though you haven't experienced it or you can't necessarily relate in your own reality it still makes you feel that way i think that's incredible mm -hmm. yeah when i look into your eyes the sun is in my Every bad forgotten feeling is replaced with rest Cause I think love isn't that far Cause I Now with 
every love song you come to mind now i finally understand what was so hard to find cause i Cause I think love is in your car Everything is broken And now everything is out I won't break your heart, baby, I promise Cause I have loved you from the start Cause So being um, a composer, a songwriter, um, there's, you know, the performer side of things. Mm -hmm. um, is there like a facet of being a musician artist that you um, find to be like the most interesting to you or that you identify with the most? Or is it kind of um, holistic? You mean like, like a a part of being like an artist? Yeah, yeah, like, because there's like the side of like, okay, I'm writing music, composing, and sometimes that can be a little bit more like mm. internal or like, but then some people just can't wait to get out on a stage yeah. to perform kind of thing, mm -hmm. or I don't know, I guess just like, yeah, what, what things feel the best to you? Yeah, I mean, for a really long time, I've been very comfortable and more so working on the performance side of things. Um, because I've, yeah, I've, I've done a lot of things as like a side person or, or even when I'm doing my own shows, like I, I haven't really dabbled in my own music, but um, I've been really trying to commit to more of that very individual work of uh, composition. And, and I found it to be really magical because you can spend just hours like working things out. And, and even though like, you know, you're just playing alone in your bedroom. It can it feels a lot bigger. And I've also realized how vulnerable it is, like, you know, writing your own music. And because it's because it's easy to it's easier to um, find music you really enjoy by other people and play it and, you know, try to emulate someone else. Um, but it's so much harder to take your own work and and to be like, this is worth showing to people even, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, because especially since I'm I'm honestly really fresh at it, it's like, a, it's hard to, like value judgment is really challenging because it's so easy to be like hypercritical of yourself yeah. or, but yeah, even be like, I like this, but is this like, does this work, yeah. you know? Or is this saying what I want it to say because it might make sense to me, but it might not to someone else, so. That's been really interesting to work yeah. through. Yeah, like learning to really trust yourself and just yeah, definitely, and just go and just go with where my mind yeah. is taking me. Yeah, it's always like an interesting thing to have to remind yourself of because it's like ultimately all of the artists and other writers that you look up to and love. It's like that's what they're doing, yeah. and that's why it connects with us. Then I think mm -hmm. so you're like, oh yeah, they're really authentic. Like, yeah. and I think that like quest for authenticity is like 
a big part of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, totally. Because, because I, I've, I found experiences where like, I can, I can write about certain things, but then it, like, I can make a, um, something simple and it might sound good, but it might not feel, yeah, authentic mm -hmm. to me. And then, so I, so I've been, yeah, I've been really trying to, um, create music that I feel really good about, um, playing and sharing. Mm -hmm. Um, and with like accompanying yourself with guitar, like that must feel a lot different than, yeah. you know, just singing or else also when you perform with your saxophone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I, um, so I started out on piano. I, I, I've kind of been teaching myself guitar over the past couple years and, um, and I've, I've been really, uh, I'm really enjoying it because it's making me write music in a different way compared to other instruments. And, um, yeah, it's just been making me get, get different sounds in, um, and it, and it also feels very personal, especially like, you know, you need an acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's super vulnerable. Like acoustic guitars are, have to be one of the quietest instruments ever. Yeah. And like, yeah, <laughs> it's like, definitely. Uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's um, like you were saying with it makes you write differently. Is that just mm -hmm. because it's like kind of this new realm that there's still like so much to discover? Yeah, definitely. I think it's, um, you know, it's a mixture of, you know, it's a new sound, new instrument, but it's also um, like my technical capability. So um, it's about figuring out like I want to get here. Like, what do I have to do to get there? Um, and also just working with what I have, which has been really interesting. Um, well, I mean, obviously, um, you're, we're, well, we're all young here, but, um, you know, like thinking back to like when you've been playing music for so long, is there some things that you know now where you're like, oh, I wish I kind of had known this when I was younger, even if it's just like about, I don't know, it doesn't have to be about music specifically, but just like an understanding that like helps you like even with confidence or something like, yeah, I think, um, yeah, confidence wise, like I, I feel like I've, um, especially this year, I, I've, I feel like I've grown a lot. And um, you're talking about trust earlier. I think, I, I think I wish I knew that that, um, you know, like it's it's good to trust yourself and it's good to um, just like know that what you're doing is good. And because um, I started, like I remember when I was younger um thankfully like i was surrounded by so many people who are just like way better than me which was really good for me you know like it uh it's really inspiring but it it um it definitely put me in a place where i i i felt very much like lesser and i was like ah you know like how am i gonna get there but i think now here and you know like i have a long ways to go but and now with more time, I've realized like it's totally possible to get where you want to get to um, and to keep going because no one is truly done learning. I think that's the biggest thing. Yeah. I tell myself. Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of, uh, yeah, I think one of the best things about music and, mm -hmm. and playing music, learning music, writing it is like there's never that point of like arrival. No. It's like there's kind of these stops along the way, I guess, but mm -hmm. like. And, and yeah, you're just constantly learning all the time. Yeah, and I think I've definitely gotten a lot more comfortable with that and embraced that a lot more, which has made, which has made things so much more enjoyable. You know, I'm a lot more curious. I'm, I'm a lot more open to being wrong yeah. and, and to uh, learning from others, which has helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so if people want to follow along with, with your learning and your journey and everything, um, where should they yeah, I mean, I mostly keep up with things on Instagram, yeah. which is just Holly Sangster with two S's at the beginning. Okay. Yeah, that's the main, the main spot. The main, okay, excellent. Okay.